Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Cast Patrol podcast. Joined as always by Mick and Age. Boys, how are we going? I don't know who's feeling worse out of us three, but I've been pretty crook lately. You have been. And you guys are crook after a big night out celebrating. Was, yeah, we'll get to that. I'm bounced. Yeah, I'm just crook. I've been sick. Haven't been out of bed, but yep. got out of bed when Gold Trip won. Did ya? Yeah, for you, Jimmy. Yeah, no, it was you a great na- win. You nailed it. Nailed the Melbourne Cup winner. Like I said, we'll get we won't get into that right now. But um, it's let's been do a bit- it. No, let's get in the Melbourne Cup. Mate, you want to talk about the Melbourne you Cup? You tip the winner. I don't like to tip my Your own. Your best bet was Gold Trip. How'd you pull that off, mate? I said it on the last podcast. You're a freak. So if they didn't watch or if they didn't listen to that, well, bad luck. Cop that. Oh. I, I, t- I told my reasonings. What a horse. Second career win. Incredible. And it's the Melbourne Cup. It's the Melbourne Cup. Wow. Incredible win. Class prevails. How much did you have on Gold Trip? It was on our story, but how much did you have? I had 200 each way of my own. Yep. Return 4.8K. That's quite handy. So not a bad collect after our big day on Sunday as well. Not yeah, a- you hit that $64 multi and yeah. the $34 multi. Yeah, mm-hmm. got two multis on Sunday. So, no, it's been a great week. I'm I'm flying. I'm Man, fl- he was pumped. He even came and visited me yesterday. I, I had work drinks, a big function. Jimmy. Jimmy rocks up. Wins 5K. I'm coming out, Mick. So what did you guys do? Fill me in. So it started with – I'll yeah. start with my work. I had work drinks from 12. So mm. I was flying from 12, tipping – Winners left, right, and center. To everyone yeah, riding home, two dollar favorites. Two dollar like, favorites. We saw in the story. Yep. <laughs> but before that, I was having a pretty average day on the punt, yep. and I turned to Pat at work. He's around fifty odd years old, top bloke, but he only backs roughies on horses, and I only back favorites. Odds on. Yeah, odds on. Get on. So <laughs> basically, whenever I've had a good day on the punt, he's had a shit day, and vice versa. So I'm not going the best, and I'm like, Pat, give me something. Give me a roughie. Fire up. Come off the bench. Like Havili and give me something. Oh. <laughs> he goes to me. I go, Flemington, who are you like? He goes, number five. I go, five. So I've sorted by win price. Keep scrolling. I'm always breaking my fingers trying to find it. <laughs> it's one of the last runners at $41 to one. And I go, whatever. I'll put 10 bucks on you for Pat. Yeah. But that's it. That's what you get from my. Paddy the Powerful. Did he pull this off? Well, Tommy Berry was on board who we did a podcast with. Dear yep. friend of the show. Rides this home. So sweetly down the outside of the yeah. Flemington Strait, 40 to 1, 400 bucks. Great win. Whack. Was it convincing? It, oh. Oh, well, it, it got there in the end. Yeah. yeah. It was you won. <laughs> I, messi- I messaged Tommy Berry, our friend, showed him the best slip. He couldn't believe it. He was like, how good is that? <laughs> yeah, um, that's crazy. 40 to 1. Now if back, only we can tip. Back to the time. story. So everyone's just had drinks and drinks. We've got yeah. a bar tab going. The boss won on one of the promos for 1,000 bucks to get on Gold Trip. Like Jimmy's flying. Anyway, Jim rocks up, giving him a few porn star martinis. As soon as he realised those were on the company tab, that's when the night got messy. <laughs> yeah. Then we went out to Bondi, had some drinks there. Then we decided to go to this other place in Bondi, Bar 43. I'm sure it's a lovely place. But Bar when, 43. When Jimmy and I walked in, uh-oh, expectations were Trouble. low. Trouble. Really? We walked down to this little basement underneath. Little and, dingy joint. Yeah, we're like, oh, apparently it's meant to be good. There were five people there, <laughs> in, probably including the staff. Yeah, and then there was one guy on a guitar playing some shit music. We're like, <laughs> get out! Yeah, it was like get, jazz or something. I literally sat down for one second, and Jimmy goes, "We gotta, go, we gotta go, we gotta go, leave." <laughs> so, so we made yeah. our way. Well, to, it was um, could you bay? It was your mate's fault, Tiago. Yeah. Tiago, he's got he's a, got a tattoo. He's got a tattoo of Bar Forty Three on his leg. What? It was the sh- full logo, yeah. Bar Forty Three. He's cast. So he made you go there. Yeah. He made us go there. When he was a backpacker, when he first moved, that he used to always go there. So now he's got that tat oh and he God. just shows him and he gets free drinks. Jesus. <laughs> would you get a cast tattoo, Mick? I, I probably would, yeah. Yeah. If Jimmy can tip like another gun winner, mm. I'll do it. What would you get? Like back cast never last down the spine Ooh. or what? Not down the spine. <laughs> Cross the chest. I'd do one on the ass. Yeah. I'd do one on the ass. On the ass. But if you tip a winner that's over three bucks one day, maybe I get, might get over the forehead. Oh, yeah, the whole face. Yeah, the whole face. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. yeah, we tried to go to – yeah, we went to Coogee Bay Hotel and um, we didn't get let in. 
Because um, why? What happened? Let yeah. me guess. It was Mick. It had to be Mick. It Who else would it be? Yeah. What's on? We because they pulled up right in front of the the hotel and like right where the Seckies were, and they must have saw Mick stumble out of the Uber. And they're like, yeah, not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. So then we ducked across the road to Little Jack Horner. And Which actually turned out to be better. Yeah, it was a great night in there. Oh, we're playing some music. It was live like, music. I thought we were in the UK. The amount of backpackers in there was unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great vibe in there. Everyone's off their heads. Live music. We saw Lachlan Fairburn, the comedian. We were having some chats with him, telling some funny jokes. Was he laughing at your jokes, Mick? Uh, no, he wasn't. I think <laughs> we were laughing more at his. And then, yeah, it was all around a good night. And I'm glad we did not... Carry on because I am feeling it today. I'm rough. Yeah, it was rough today. If you see me on the YouTube, I am <laughs> bounced in some sunnies uh, to hide my shame and I'm tired, but I'm yeah. here. The podcast goes on. It must go on. What'd you so, do, H? So literally the last thing I've done was Thursday night work drinks. It yes. was our awards night. Oh, yeah. You saw the photo of me. Money heist. Up as money heist. Yeah. Yeah. I was a professor. Had my little squad behind me mm -hmm. and we did get best dress. Congratulations, boys. Well done, well done. Congratulations, boys. We actually nailed it. We didn't get anything. No, like, no, no reward. No prize. It was just like, did get you have up. a day off or something? No day off. Oh, shit. Get up, a few claps, take a photo. Bragging rights, literally. Mm. And then, so we went veranda bar. That finished up, went to the Ivy. And that's where I can't tell the rest of the story. Sorry to poop any <laughs> parties, but... We don't want to reveal what happened at the Ivy. I heard, I heard about DM heard me if you want to find out. No, don't DM. We're not telling any of these stories <laughs> ever. Yeah, no, they can't get out. And then, yeah, I was sick after that. What did you guys get up to on the weekend? Well, we went to um, one of the boys' house on Saturday. Yep. Had a poker night. I won. Yeah, I was there. but I, was... I think we mentioned him last time. Uh, Yanni, the poker shark pick. The semi-pro, as he calls He's a semi-pro. Yeah, semi I actually beat him in the final. That was so good. It was heads up, just you and him. Heads up, me and him, and I beat him. So I am officially now. Took your sweet time. Would you, would you say I'm the poker shark now? No. Oh, I wouldn't call you a shark, no. <laughs> <laughs> Please, give me something. I wouldn't you say did the good, shark. but Picos had like no chips at one stage and he brought himself back. Yeah. And then you got lucky with the – you made a stupid rule. It was like best out of three and the winner takes all. Because we had chips and we're like, we'll just roll the the cards five yeah. times. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. And I won. So anyway. But you got lucky. Love it. Yeah, We haven't been, I haven't been, like personally, I haven't been well since that night. I felt so sick Sunday because we had to record that Melbourne Cup podcast where Jimmy tipped the winner, like we just yeah. said. And we were sick as dogs. I was running on three hours sleep. Sleep, yeah. sleep doesn't happen in my life, does it? Nah. No. That night rolled me. I was already sick. And after that, I was full rolled like- I was having stomach aches, nausea, <laughs> dry mouth. I've been drinking so much like juice, water, anything. Really? Just to yeah. get better? Just got this mad dry mouth. It's fucked. Mate, I had no sleep. So obviously I was in a state. Came home last night, um, put the shower on because I always shower after a night out. My sister said that she heard the shower running for that long. She thought I was passed out. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she, she goes, five minutes more and I was going to send dad in to get you. <laughs> I was gone. I vomited oh. in the bin. A bit went on the floor. We've uh, had a cast weekend. It's been cast. Yeah, it's we are. Been a, we're a all big weekend. That's how you sum it up. We, we're just cast. We're cast in all different shapes and forms, from sick to mentally and physically unwell. Yeah. yeah. And Jim just on the punt, lucky cast. Yeah, he's very lucky. Jim's bank account is not cast. Not That's the only no. thing not cast about us. He's right very now. healthy. He shouted us some Uber tonight. He made me pay for the sauces though. Uber uh, Eats. Uber Eats. Oh, the, that shake, the cookies and cream shake. I can't yeah. get over that. Biscoff, milkshake. Dick shake, milkshake. Yeah, my stomach is very full as you can see on the YouTube right now. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the Melbourne Cup. What a race it was. So you had in first place. Gold Trip. Second place. Emissary. And third place. High Motion. We did, we didn't even talk about the second and third. We said those are no, no chance. We well, I was so looking close. at emissary. You were. I, it was either you, you that or that. Dwayus, and I just leant towards Dwayus. Yeah. Don't know why. But when I saw that thing coming, I was like, do not freaking win. I was going to cry. Yeah. Well, we do, so we do accountability. So Jimmy said his winner was Gold Trip, yep. first place. Well done, Jim. You said Smoke and Romans, who came seventh. Seventh. Just couldn't run out the trip. Not bad. Not, not the it worst. Looked, it looked good around the bend, but it wasn't it. Yeah. Me, I did without a fight. What did that come? In 13th. That wasn't Shout the out to our roughies of the race. <laughs> Jimmy's roughie came in 20th place. 
Yeah. My roughie work, came Jim. one behind that, 21st. And Adrian's roughie came 18th. So that's why they call it a roughie. That was really rough. That who, was rough. Who was your rough age? Delayus. Oh, Delayus. Delayus. Yeah. Delayus. Yes. Um, Bro, how, how open was that race? It was just like spread out. Mm. Like it wasn't even close yeah, to some of the horses. They were, yeah, they were coming home in like the, fav- big, the favorite big in fourth. Intervals. That would have cost a few bucks. Lucky we did say it's poison. It, it was it was always going to be poison at you said it. No one's taken said that. It. Yeah, and it did start five bucks, like we said. But never raced on soft. No. All never, around, it was, it was a good Melbourne Cup to yeah, watch. I'm glad that we did the preview and looked a bit into it. Um, and we'll we'll close. We'll close enough. Yeah, Jimmy got the winner. We got the winner. Yep. So no, our tries didn't get close because of the second and third roughies, but mm. nah. Hey, we got the winner. We got that's the winner. all that matters. That's all that matters. Um, let's talk about some sport. Now we can actually talk Rugby League World Cup. Yes. Let's talk. It's actually the finals. It's heating up. Finally. Thank God. We've been waiting for this. Some matchups that are actually decent. 100%. <laughs> it's heating up. It's kicking off this Saturday, 6.30 a.m., Australia versus Lebanon. <laughs> Boys, what do we think? It's hard to go past Australia, I think. I think they win and win well. Yeah. How well? Um, 50 plus? No, the no, line's, the line's minus 41 and a half. I'd so say what guaranteed is 40, but yeah, 50 is a bit much. I'm going to say 50. 50? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say I'll go with the line, what? minus 41 and a half. Oh, they'll beat the line. Yeah, they'll get the line. And you, I, I can see Latrell scoring, obviously. Yeah. Have they named the team? No, nah, but you can assume they're going to go with a very strong team. Who's uh, playing in the halves? It would be Munster Cleary. But apparently, they want to put both of them in the squad. What? Cherry Evans and Cleary. They're going to the, the only way I see that happening is if they either drop Munster, which won't happen. Yeah. So that means Cherry would have to be on the bench, which would then mean two forwards are left on the bench. Because of Ben Hunt. Because of the Hunt and Grant, Grant. combo. Yeah. Okay. So like that. keep an eye out for that. But okay. if not, Cherry might have to just be 18th yeah. man, cop it for a bit. I think so. Yeah. Well, shout out, shout out to Lebanon. They've, they've done, well. done oh, they've very been well awesome. in this year's World Cup. They've been very good. Made very impressed. Quarters, very impressive. Um, but yeah, good luck to them. And our boy Campbell Graham's playing real well for Australia. Hopefully he keeps that right wing spot. Oh, I hope he's so. He's very safe. And for a winger, like his natural position is centre. And yeah. I can't believe he's exploded onto the scene already. Because well, he debuted on the wing, so he sort of has a few games mm. on his belt there. But he's very safe anywhere you put him. That's scary. Does his job. Who's the next game? Next game, Sunday, 1.30 a.m., England versus Papua New Guinea. England have actually shocked me. I thought yeah. coming into this, England were no hope. I knew they were at home, but I genuinely thought they were gone. Then they came out and upset Samoa with the smashing. Yeah. Then I forgot who they beat the second game, but the third game was by far their most impre- impre- impressive. 94 points. Mick, do you want to tell the listeners what bet you declare tomorrow? Yeah. I declare tomorrow. Greece. Well, what was your exact words on that Saturday? Greece. Night? I said <laughs> Greece. Because if you don't say it, we're going to say it. Greece were the best ruffy of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> they got destroyed by 90. <laughs> 94 to 4. <laughs> guys, yeah. I don't tip. I just produce for you guys. And then you said there is no way Greece will lose more than. 63. Mm. 63 <laughs> points. By half time, it was over. <laughs> it was, what was the half time score? It's like 40 to 44 to 4 or something. something. That's crazy. Shocking. Yeah. But yeah, England should, England should up take care of yeah. PNG. Um, yeah, no, I've been very impressed with England. Issues World Cup. A lot of um, yep. good young players in there, like Dom Young's been on fire. And the centre inside Dom Young was great last game. Yeah, yeah, he was really good. Um, Jack Wellsby. Now the youngsters playing Unreal. They've just got a- Tom like, Burgess has been on fire. Yeah, re- a really good squad. Um, yeah, interesting to see, you know, how far they'll go. But yeah, love, they should take care of PNG this But week. if you're looking for some try scorers, add in the right winger, Roderick Ty for Papua New Guinea. Yeah. He's been on fire. He's had, had a great tournament. And even Tom Burgess at three bucks. Mate, if you get him one-on-one close to the line- You won't stop Did him. Did he score a double? No one's stopping him. Yeah, he scored a double. He scored so many tries. He's, he's, he's cup already. He's been good for him. So, yeah, that's yeah. how we're going to play that game. England. Also on Sunday, 6.30 a.m., New Zealand, Fiji. New Zealand, Fiji. I, th- I think New Zealand will, will go close to beating Australia when they match up because I think they're definitely yeah. going to win this match. Fiji, um, they're, just, they're just lacking a few key players in the much-needed positions. Like obviously, they've got their big men like Kikau. Um, Hooker, Appy. 
Hook, yeah, hook, yeah, exactly. Who also got Tavara fullback? Yeah, like they just like they're it's hard, solid. They're building. Their halves, their halves aren't they really probably there. Probably need some good NRL yeah. halves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, especially like I'm sure their halves are still very good players, but compared to yeah, one of them put a mad Munster. play to make kick out mm. score inside out. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, they're not going to be able to match it with New Zealand. No, they might stay in it for like a good 20, 30 minutes, but over the course of the eighty minutes, they're going to get. Tower yeah, up. I think New Zealand win that win that comfortably. What's the line on that? Uh it's it's not even that big. It's like I think it's what is it like 30, 29? Oh, 29. Something crazy, but bad. if you're gonna look for a try scorer, Peta yep. Hiku has scored <laughs> you in every single him. game this tournament. Every game? Peta. Peta. You Peta can Hiku. check me on that. Line like, the, the line is 30 and a half. There you go, 30 and a half. So good old Peta Hiku, he's good. gonna score. He doesn't really pass that often, so you can count on him just show and go. I like that. And then who's the last game of the round? Oh, this, this is the matchup of the round. This is far. this is the match of the round. Monday, 1.30 a.m., Tonga versus Samoa. Who's winning I'll that? I'll tell you what. I don't know who's going to win. I'm going to go close and saying Tonga just because Samoa have been a bit inconsistent. But I tell you, these Pacific nations have impressed me this tournament. 100%. Like, you've already seen from even four – Four years ago, how much of an improvement these teams have got, especially when you look at the quality of players. Yep. Like, like we said before, Samoa had or still have like four of the Penrith backline players. Yeah, of and that one a premiership. And Tonga have a feeder on the bench. Yeah, and then they've like, got Keon Olak. They've got it's everyone. Crazy the amount of pl- um, good quality players they have. They're probably both just missing like. One half, mm, like Tonga has Katoa, who's going to be the halfback or five eight for yeah. the Dolphins. But yeah, it's just a bit inexperienced. But they they put ninety points on Cook Island. That's very impressive. Yeah, that's a great great effort. But like great players, like now Tupo, they're going to have to clash. Katoa. Yep, I think great Tonga. game. I think Tonga. What do you reckon, Jim? Yeah, I'm going to go Tonga. I'm going to say Tonga as well. I, I think, think I have just a bit too much class on Samoa. And you know what? The odds of that aren't too bad. A dollar sixty. That's the most juice we've probably seen this whole World Cup. Yeah. For sure, but yeah, I don't. Want, I don't really want to touch a head to head. What do you reckon about try scorers, Mick? I'd probably be looking at Daniel Tupo. Yep, he's a lock. Or I've I've been on Keon Kaloa Matangi from South Sydney the last yeah. few weeks. He's scored he, a, quite a few tries this. He's tournament. been playing hooker, edge, lock. He's been playing. I think all they were just the naming him in the hookers. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know. If well, he's they have playing Sun, Sunny Luke, who's going to be the Penrith backup for next year. He's going to yeah, be a great player. Definitely Taylor May. He scored four. Tries Even Tamalo, though, though, I think his back end of the year for the Cowboys yeah. has shown through this World Cup. He's been quite impressive as yeah. well. He was suspended as well for the first couple. Of games. Oh yeah, he'll be so, lifting during this game. It's going to be a great game. I'll be keen to watch that. But, but it's one thirty a.m. on a Monday. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a rough one. Who sets up these time slots? Yeah. Well, it's just hard, like, you know. Seriously. With, the, with where they're playing, so no I one's t- watching that. They're gonna just be watching highlights. I tell you what's good though. Saturday, six thirty a.m. Wake up just a little bit earlier. You get to watch Australia versus Lebanon. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I'll be doing that. Perfect. How about we talk a bit of racing, Jim? Racing. Uh, apart racing. from the Melbourne Cup. Bit of racing. Yeah. So as you know, we are very good friends with Dabble. Uh, the great betting app that encourages the social greatest betting, app. betting, and you can follow it. The greatest, I'd say, the greatest. Well, the they greatest. just keep surprising me, Mick. They keep doing. Did it. Did you see the promo they gave us this week, mate? I saw it and I could not believe my yeah. eyes. Look, I'll take my glasses off for this one. I could not believe it. It was incredible. I had to get out Crazy. of the app. I had to refresh. I was like, that can't be right. Yeah, no, I had to like you know how you hold both buttons on the phone. Oh, turn I had the phone to turn off. it off. Turn it back on, yeah. go into the app, yeah. and it was still there. It was still there. And then when I saw it, I still didn't believe it. So basically, remember how we had Nature Strip as a moral for the Everest? That was- We or you, Mick? Well, me. me, 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 <laughs> me. Yeah. Nature Strip was paying $2 to win the Everest, one of the toughest sprinters race in Australia. Agree? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Dabble for this Saturday and this Saturday only on our The Cast Patrol page are giving elite odds of what, Adrian? Two dollars, double your money. Oh, two dollars for Nature Strip to win? No, Mick. N- to come top two? No, Mick. Top three place? Nature Strip to run top four, two dollar odds. Oh, how good's that? Max bet twenty five per customer. How good is that? So basically, I can declare Nature Strip as a moral, which it is. Nature Strip's a moral to finish top four, and it'll come top four. It'll come top four. If this strip comes fifth, you'll be hearing from me. There is no way, unless J Mac falls off, that strip doesn't come yeah. top four. The only chance is that if it starts thundering down in Melbourne, mm. and yeah, it's boggy, and, and it gets thunderstruck at the barrier, 
That's the only chance this bet doesn't finish with a win. It's a straight race as well. Yeah. Stripper oh. loves the straight. Jump. Jimmy, be honest, like bullshit aside, what do you think happens? Yeah, I think I think he smokes them this Saturday. Smash them? Smashes them. What about Giga Kick? Are we worried? Nah. I'm not worried at all about Giga Kick. Why not? I don't know, like I don't want to say it was a fluke, the Everest, but It was nature, a hot speed, wasn't it? Nature strip was three wide the entire race. Was wide mo- for most of the race. And look, he had every possible in the straight. I get it. Whatever. But down the straight, I think he's drawn he's drawn out as well. Yeah. Jump straight to the front and he just rolls on, eh? Just keeps going. Best jockey on board as well. Best like jockey every on start. board. Yeah. And so he probably wins, but if yep. you're not sure he's gonna win, top four, jump on our, jump, jump on, on our page on, on Dabble. Bit. Yeah. So if you want to Copy this incredible promo. Top four. I couldn't believe yeah. it. Still refre- refresh your phones to double it's check. It's criminal. But I'm yeah. pretty sure. Refresh this podcast. Refresh it. <laughs> yeah. Test your earphones because it's actually top four. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. But if you do want to copy it, use the show notes below or when you're signing up at the on the app store, sign up using the code Cast Patrol. Adrian, spell it. Not the Cast Patrol, just Cast Patrol. C-A-S-T-P-A-T-R-O-L. And when you go on the app, find us there. Cast Patrol, copy the bet, one click. How simple, Jim? Very simple, me. Turn that 25 into 50 very, and go buy yourself a single And if you are going to have a bet, make sure you do it responsibly because we love to gamble responsibly here. And if you are struggling, because it, it's a common thing for it some happens. people. It, it happens. happens. We've all been there. Everyone gets a little low, needs to have a chat. Who do you call, Jim? 1-800-858-858. Perfect. Perfect. Too easy. Well, let's get on to other things that are, are very cast, unlike Dabble. Our Dabble cast character cast. of the week. We've actually put it on the bench for a bit. It's finally back. We found- we wanted someone worthy of this yeah. award. We yeah. can't just be throwing out cast character of the week. This was another one that actually no, shocked These me. guys shone in our face and they, said, give it to me. They they stepped up to the platter and they almost produced a Dallium cast character performance. Yeah. So you probably heard it by now, but basically Taronga Zoo have let five lions escape yep. from their enclosure. Yeah. And these Crazy lions, stuff. they're out. They're out and about. So it's the zoo has gone into lockdown after these five lines have escaped and they're saying it's their worst nightmare ever. Yeah. Four cubs and one adult yeah. were seen outside their enclosure about 6.30 a.m. on Wednesday. A code one alert soon after sent zoo into lockdown. The police were called at 7.10 and the lions were returned to their enclosure just before 9 a.m. Oh, that's all right. But, okay, they're only out for two and a bit hours. What do you reckon hours. they did for three hours? Got on the ferry, had a look at Manly, what? No, they would have been... They would have been at the zoo. They would have been at the zoo. But still... Just crazy. They didn't leave the zoo. (laughs) They they didn't didn't leave the zoo. No, they just left the enclosure. Could you imagine going on your shift, starting early in the morning, feed the animals? You're half asleep, you get there, six thirty. You're feeding the meerkats, you're feeding the giraffes with the carrots, and then, oh, hang on, why the the fuck's there a lion? (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck's there a lion <laughs> near the Peter's ice cream stand? <laughs> Why is Leon not in his cage? What's going on? Seriously. <laughs> Wait, you're telling what me. The fuck, Leon. Get back in there. <laughs> we had seven lions yet last night, and now we have two. Two left. And they're sleeping. Where's the other four? Where's the cubs? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Taronga Zoo, congratulations. You are our cast character. Congratulations, of the week. Taronga Thank Zoo. You. Well done. Well Very done. well deserved. Cast character. Very really well deserved. Well done. Well done. If you guys were an animal, at Taronga Zoo, mm. what would you be? Oh. Um, I'd probably like to be a chameleon. I think I'd like a to chameleon. change. No, 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 not what you would like to be. What would you be? Like oh, if Mick, what would I Mick be? is oh, an animal. Mick is an animal. Yeah, well, mate. Probably a monkey or something. Up to no good. Yeah. Bit of mischief. Cheeky. Jim would be like a bit of a dugong. Yeah. Jim would be just like a giraffe. Just, just cruisy. <laughs> be so cruisy. Just cruising yeah, along. I was yeah. just a cruisy animal. Yeah. You, what do you reckon I'd be? You're, like? you're a, a lock. I don't, they don't have them at Taronga Zoo, but they're quite popular in Chinese zoos. Pandas. Yeah. <laughs> they, they sleep for most of the day. Yeah. All they do is sit there, eat. They're quite roundish looking, <laughs> which you are. Black and white, like a have Black got and on. white, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, they like doubling their wage with age. <laughs> hey, that'll be later. So don't tune out now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you want to double your wage, stay tuned for the end. But we do have a very, very important announcer. We actually have two. So we'll start with the most recent one that mm. you should actually do. We don't like to, to tear your ears or, and, and eyes away for, to another podcast. But this week we're appearing on About Even, the great show hosted by Hello Sport and Random Stats Guy. Uh, we're actually mm. the Lippy Dribbler, which is our equivalent of like the 18th man. Yep. Yeah. And we've uh, posted all our best bets there. 
um, with some juicy multis. You get to listen to them rip apart our bets, saying they're too safe, they're just too much juice. Yeah. It's really good. So we'll put that in the show notes as well, about even, uh, if you want to search it up. Yeah. So we basically tip the golf winner, the Cricket World Cup, Rugby League World Cup. We gave him a unit scooper. So hopefully we beat him. That's the whole point. Well, we got three minds put together. Well, that's what they were saying. Yeah. They reckon it's cheating that we have three of us. Yeah. Because a mm. lippy's meant to be one person. But you know what? I, Mix doesn't even count. He doesn't have any brain cells right now. How many do you have, Mick, right now? I think I had six brain cells yesterday. Yeah. And after that little Horner stint, what's it called? Little Jack Horner? Okay, yeah. you have three. Let's, have let's three. say you have three I have left. Three. I have three. I probably have two max. And Jimmy just earned his one yesterday tipping gold <laughs> So, oh, two. I, I got the other one on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, so now you're at two, mix it three, I'm at two? Yeah. Okay, so how many is that, boys? Seven. Fuck. Now it's eight. We just fucking got that. <laughs> so we have eight brain cells. Yeah, we got eight brain cells. So if we beat about even, it's fair. Yeah. And our last update is we've all seen overseas sidemen do like a charity match yeah. for soccer. Um, and it seems to work really well. So there's some boys going around Sports Shed TV they got quite a presence on TikTok and Instagram. They're trying to do their own charity match in Australia, mainly Sydney, uh, around rugby league. Uh, so we thought we were signing up to an Oztag charity match. <laughs> turns uh, out. Turns out it's actually a uh, rugby league with tackling involved. Which is lucky because I've actually been training with the South team as a training trial, <laughs> as you can see. Yeah. I've just been filling in at fullback while the trail's away. I don't away. think Jimmy's ever made a tackle in his life. Oh, no, Jimmy can't catch, let yeah. alone tackle. Yeah. yeah. So this will be a struggle. So far, they've announced Shaq TV and Olin Techers to be playing at the event. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be going ahead next year. So that's something to look forward to. If you want to see us get tackled around by ex-NRL players and other content YouTubers, creators, yeah, um, TikTokers. that'll be next year and we'll sure be sure to plug it. But yeah, we probably got to start training. In all seriousness, that. boys, just to touch on it, what position are we going to play? Like I'm a staple winger. I know that for sure. Do you reckon you play anywhere else? Like centre? Uh, I could. Depends who I'm opposition against. If they bring back like Greg Inglis out of retirement <laughs> just for a charity match, I'm going to stay on the wing. I think the wing's pretty, uh, pretty much an easy job, but I'm mm. scared they might want to put someone like Hectic Fred on the wing or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Hectic Fred will roll you, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Age, you're a bit of a 5'8 hooker. Yeah, 5'8 half hooker i feel like you'd be okay with tackling you were always good back in the day for yeah well, i had to tackle like men three times my size so mm. i don't know if i still got it but mm. just go low maybe the cardio might get the you. cardio will get me too many too many yeah. kebabs oh, too many too everything man and too jimmy will i'm gonna say i think he's an interchange player nothing oh. against you but i think you'd be, have a bit more impact off the bench oh i, start, I, I was a halfback for b grade <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, are, you trying, are you trying to claim halfback for B grade? No, I'm just saying I'm oh. not an interchange player. I'm just a, I no, played. No, no he, I reckon Jim would be like Dom Young. Just chuck him on the wing. Yeah. Like Jim Young, bro. Jim yeah. Young? I was going to say a flyer. In, I was going to say interchange player because then it, it's probably most likely going to be on a Saturday. So he can still get the pun in with his phone. Doesn't have to play the full game. Oh, he so can, he'll, he'll just be on double. Just yeah. Punting. He'll be, be on there. He'll be doing tipping and then they're like, oh, Jim, you're on the field. You're going to go play lock for a bit. Right, Jim, you're on. Impact player. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> he's still filthy. I see he's, he's not change. He's He wants gonna, to be the halfback. I can have a word with you later, Mick. Mate, we've seen your Oz take highlights, Jim. You're not halfback. Uh, all righty. <laughs> all right, into play on or penalty, Jim. Now Spice time for some up. play on or penalty for this week is the first one from Mick. Footlong Subway with a blue power raid for a hangover meal. Play on for sure. Definitely cured my hangover today. Would, did you have any cookies with it or anything? No cookies. Cookies are a bit too much. You know, when you wake up hungover, you want to start fresh. You're like, oh, I just want to rejuvenate. And Subway Eat Fresh Marketing got me. That's what I did, but the blue power raid was perfect. Yeah, Subway's pretty good, but I don't know if I'd go at like first option. It, co- it cost me 30 bucks because they priority. I added some extra bacon in there. Expensive Subway. Well, it didn't really help you, did it? Because you were on the floor at the gym as <laughs> showing our story. Oh, just passed out. It was a t- I was just like, I went to the sauna as well and I was just dead. I was like, I need to get out of this place. I'm feeling it. Jimmy, what do you reckon? Subway is a hangover meal. Probably not. Not for me. Penalty? That's a penalty. Fair. We, well, put, it, we put it on our story um, and we got a good response back. People ripping me. People agreeing with me. We had one from Matty the Waterboy from uh, Bloke Studios killing it with a uh, podcast with him and Rugby League Guru in the off season. What did Matty have to say? So Matty says... This is how I see it. 
The direct morning after, it's, if it's Struggle Street, Subway won't cut it. Need either bacon and eggs, or if you go fast food, Maccas. Uh, if you're truly cooked, I'll indul- indulge in a quarter pounder meal with nugs. However, the day after a big night, I find myself having a Subway for dinner. I crave it around 3 to 4 p.m. and end up getting it either then or for dinner a bit later. <laughs> no idea why, so technically, I guess it counts. Love it, Matty. So that's he's sort the, of on your side. That's the analysis we love. And then, I, and then, well, he said that he goes to a cafe underneath his apartment, so it's actually a bit of a cheat code for him. If I had a, a cafe yeah, under my apartment. 100%. You'd definitely take that. One thing I did say, see which was interesting, there's a place at East Gardens in the mornings, they do two-for-one bacon and egg rolls. That's Hello. value. 15 bucks for two. Yeah, but do you want two? 15 bucks for 15 two. 15 bucks for two. I, yeah, I, I just didn't trust bacon and eggs coming via Uber Eats. Yeah, it's not the best. I, you I, need that yeah. sort of hot. Mm. You, know? you need it fresh. Yeah. Otherwise, the sauce gets You need something like whatnot. greasy anyway for, for a hangover food. What would be your number one hangover meal? Probably something greasy. Like, like what KFC. Would you, yeah, really? Yeah. All right, you? It depends. Like sometimes you wake up, you, you crave a greasy meal, but sometimes you're that cooked and you just want something clean. Like so a like, salad. Not nec- Well, maybe like fish. Never a salad. Like fish bowl or. Fish bowl's heavy though. Fish in the morning. It is. No, you don't up. have to get fish. You can get chicken, beef. Um, yeah. Like a XL roll, like a Hong Ha or banh mi's. I don't yeah, know. It, just really, it really depends on it how, just depends on, on, the how mood. on how hungover you are. I yeah. always go something healthy. I like this place at the cafe. You get a taxi there or Uber, and they do um like fresh smashed avocado. It's like big mouth. Yeah, one. that's good. Or get, like fresh, fresh fresh juice yeah. or a fresh smoothie. Yeah, like a green juice. Yeah, green juice just always makes you like down well. mentally feel better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah Next definitely. one. Next one is at Sapphire's punting blokes posing in the mirror at the gym. I think that's fine. I think that's play on. I mean, you're at the gym to work hard and fine-tune your body, feel mentally better. Um, so if you're posing, you're just uh, nurturing the reward of the gym. Because we actually saw your mirror selfie go around, Mick, last week. My mirror selfie? <laughs> yeah. So I guess it has to be a play on if you're doing it. Yeah. What mirror selfie did I put? You know the one of you in the mirror you sent to me in gym, in the Casper Chat? You posted. What? G- from the gym? Yeah. From the gym, yeah. You got to show me. confirm? I can confirm yet. Okay. You sent in. So play on for Mick, that is for sure. But I wouldn't be doing it. I'd save it for the mirror at home and just suss yourself out. Yeah. And shout out to Sapphire's punning. Good uh, follow of the page. And he's listening right now and he's a very good tipster as well, but not better than uh, Cass or Jim. Or Jim. Just yeah, Jim. Jim. Just Jim. <laughs> but um, yeah, look, I'm going to say, I think it's to play on. Do what you like. Hey, have you ever been inside a gym? I have a gym in my backyard, so if that counts, then yes. If not? And I did work experience at a gym. Ah, oh, you're a beast. Maruba <laughs> Gym in the South Juniors, so yeah, I'm a bit of a beast, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> Training for the charity match. Yeah, literally. All right, next or last one for this week is at Rosie for Duel One, liking something just because someone else does, aka being a sellout. That's a penalty. You got to like something because you like it or you enjoy it. Yeah. Not from mm. you can't do you can't do something just because someone else likes doing it. I mean, you no. can do a little white lie, but then you can't keep up with it for so long. Yeah, just uh, do your head in. Yeah, like if you said that you liked a show just because your missus liked it, and then you're stuck watching eight seasons of it. Yeah, yeah, I've struggled through it. Have you done that before, Mick? I think um, maybe back in the day, I, maybe I'd probably say I did, but yeah, yeah, hundred percent, nah. That's a penalty, Rosie. Don't do that, Rosie. Just do things you enjoy and things you like. It's your life at the end of the day, but yeah, let's carry on to this one. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's the best advice I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's your life, just enjoy it. Mate, enjoy what fire. you like. Yeah. Unreal. And also shout out to Rosie because she's Oh, a yeah, beast. we say it every week. Rosie's a beast. She just <laughs> keeps writing good articles and we can't thank you enough. Yep. Thank you, Rosie. Thanks, Rosie. But on that note, we're on to this or that, Rosie. And at Lachlan underscore M underscore J underscore O three is asked, having me loving the podcast or hating it? Oh, I'd prefer you to be loving it. Lockie, mate, we can't get enough of your questions and your support. Yeah. You asked one last week, asked one this week. Love think, the love. I think he's asked more than one this week. Really? But, oh, yeah, there's another one. There's another one coming up, but. Wow. Yeah, it's a massive play I mean, on. We, we love we do, it. We do get our haters from time to time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, oh, you have the, to have the both. Yeah. There's always going to be there's haters always out haters. there. 
some people flog us for the most random things as well. Oh, yeah. But you just got to cop it and take just what don't they give say. Them, just don't give them the time of day and you just know, move on. You know, last week I copped it um, from like one or two people because apparently that whole potty, I was like adjusting my undies and scratching my nuts. Really? <laughs> apparently. Well, so, you did say you have like a 12 inch Yeah, so yeah. so they got understand. I'm just trying to not do that today so I don't cop the, <laughs> the backlash. Hey, constructive feedback's good, but mm. there's a line. But um, yeah, we love the love and support. So definitely have you loving the podcast, yeah. Loggy. At Ryan Grouse has asked, pick the winner of the Melbourne Cup or the Everest? Well, Jim, as being a Melbourne Cup expert, how would you go it? Well, I've been lucky enough to tip both. <laughs> oh, there Stop. we go. Podcast. So, so, okay, um, the Jim Patrol. Jim Patrol here. We'll just, we'll go. But um, yeah, no, I think I'm going to say the Melbourne Cup. It's a more prestigious race. Um, and you get better odds as well in the Melbourne Cup. Yeah, you get a, you get a, you get a good price for for a lot of the horses. So, well, if Ryan's talking about this year, I'd rather the Everest because Giga Kick shat home at twenty six bucks. Yeah, and if you tip that, it's better than the twenty one. I wish I had the tip for the Everest, but I'll take either. <laughs> you take either, yeah. But I think yeah, Melbourne Cup's just more bigger race, bigger yeah. thrill. I think twenty four horses, mm. the whole country's watching. It's crazy, yeah, and it's Australia's biggest race. So not Australia. the most richest, but definitely the biggest. Nah, for sure. And everyone, everyone gets around it, so it's always good fun, especially if you tip the winner. Mm. Yeah. So all on Melbourne Cup there. Um, easy one here at KCP six eight two, Cherry Evans or Nathan Cleary. This is probably inspired by the post we put up. Who should be the Aussie halfback? Yeah. Cleary, Nathan Cleary. Yep. I agree. We Nathan all agree. Cleary. Yeah. Yeah. Skim over that one, one pretty quickly. Clive, was Cleary. he Clive Churchill middle? You know? He was, Mick. Was he? No. no yeah, Edwards, he was. Edwards. Edwards. Oh, Edwards, no, Edwards, Edwards was last year. Yeah. No, nah, Cleary's, Cleary's a freak. I mean, Cherry's very good, but I think it's, uh, it's time to go with the youth. Yeah. Cleary will be there for the next 10 years. Yeah. Invest now. Listener questions where we get to answer all your unrestricted questions. Unrestricted. And we'll start off the bat. With at Manny underscore seven three three, one of our loyal followers. Thank you, Manny. We'll see what he has in store for us this week. Jimmy is the goat, but Mick, you're still cast. Hit a twenty to one roughy like Jim before you carry on. <laughs> so my question is, why is Mick so cast? It's <laughs> a great question, Manny. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a good question, Manny. Mate, you don't get winners all the time, <laughs> and when you do, you just have to celebrate them. And if it's a two dollar shot or Twenty dollars shot, like dollar seventy, like dollar seventy. <laughs> you just got to take him. You just got to take your wins. Take your win. A win's a win. A win's a win. Uh, but why is Mick so cast? I don't. I don't think I'm that cast. Mick, you're cast. I'm cast. <laughs> I'm cast. But why? Let's go back to the roots. What happened? Look, it's probably in my genetics um, to be cast. Um, probably from birthday. Because your dad's quite cast. He's quite cast. Um, <laughs> I think when God was sort of creating me, they did like a little bit of dash of funny, a little bit of dash of smart. And then, like, as he was pouring in cast, he, like, sneezed and just oh, 100%. poured way too much yeah. cast. And all the funny head. jumped out and yeah. the smartness just jumped out. Just lost it. So now I just sit here full-time cast. cast. Yeah. That's fair enough. That's fair. I'll read the next one. <laughs> At Rosie for Duel 1. She's back. Rosie. Um, rate this on 1 to 10 for castness. Pushing for something even after being shut down. I reckon... It depends what you're pushing for. Yeah. If you're pushing for like a goal or a dream of yours and you get shut down. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. So yeah. one for castness. That's not cast at all. But if you're pushing for something stupid. Like if you're pushing for the punt, just trying to get back your winnings, probably just stop, call it a day. That's cast. That's cast. Yeah, that's hit, 10 cast. Hit, hit your deposit limit and call it a day. Um, but yeah, pushing for If you're pushing for, something, for like a loved one that doesn't want you or is not treating you well. But she said well. rated from one to 10. But that's just in general. We're saying- so if it was like pushing for, castness. So pushing how for cast. someone that doesn't care about you and you keep trying for them, that's mm. pretty cast, like 10. Yep. But if you're pushing for something that so you dream situational. about, yeah. I think it's situational. Then if you're pushing for something you dream about and you aspire to do one, because it's not cast. Fair. Does that make sense, Jimmy? Makes a lot of sense, Age. Um, yeah, I think it really depends on the situation. Uh, this one's probably directed at Jim. At Luke DeSteff has asked, last year J-Mac was 57 kilos in the Melbourne Cup and this year the dude, which is Mark Zara, on yes. Gold Trip was 57 kilos. Are we seeing a new trend? Well, we're just seeing class prevails. You've been massive on this, class prevailing. Mate, they don't get it wrong, the Melbourne, the in Victoria, the, especially with the handy, the big handicaps. You know, the big rises, uh, sorry, the big horses, they just rise to the top. 
the cream rises to the top. But Always. It, ha- it hasn't been the case, as we mentioned. Always. Well, cream rises to the top. <laughs> it doesn't sound too good, Jimmy. That does not. But we've noticed before these these last two years, the average weight was 54 to 55, like winning the Melbourne Cup. Yeah. And then last year, J-Max shat home at 57 on Very Elegant. Yeah. Mm. And then I think it was 57 and a half on Gold Troop. Yeah. Was it? So maybe it's a new trend. Maybe class is prevailing, yeah. but we shall see next year. Yeah. We shall see. Uh, next question. He's back at Lachlan underscore M underscore J underscore O three. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with one celebrity or sports star, who would it be? Age. Answer this question. PG. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> I was going to no. say something. Else. Is it like male or female? It can be anyone. <laughs> um, okay. Got to think of a new answer there. Um, <laughs> um, male or female? I'd probably do Jimmy from the cast patrol. I'd like to know how he picks his tips. Like gold trip. Is Jimmy a famous sports person? <laughs> oh, mate, he's close to it after that one. Maybe after the charity match, scoring yeah, a hat we'll trick see, on the yeah. wing. We'll see after the charity game. Um, I don't know. This is a tough one. Depends. If you want someone that will spin a yarn with you, you'd probably look to someone like Brian Fletcher. He'd spin a yarn with you. Brian, yeah. Brian, uh, Brendan Smith, Matty Johns would be funny. Or even someone like Cooper Cronk who just knows yep. the game so well and you can just talk about footy for like – However long you're stuck in the elevator for. But if you go outside of Australia, like genuine freaks, your Tom Brady's of the world, that'd be pretty cool to pick his um, brain apart. Yeah. Roger, Nadal. There's too many. So many great sports stars. But you've had to pick one. Even celebrities, there's so many good celebrities. Oh, out there. yeah. I don't, actually, I don't even know. Or like Adam Sandler, someone funny. Adam Sandler. Is that Fuck. too rogue? That's a rogue answer. Yeah, celebrities can be Oh, he's Sandler. He'd, He'd be funny. Yes. He'd be funny. You, you do have a bit of an Adam Sandler vibes about you. Reckon? you. Yeah, the way you dress and stuff. Does he go for South? Oh, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Is he a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe someone like Leo DiCaprio. He'd be a cool Leo? one. Yeah, cool, cool celebrity like that. That's a tough one. Brad eh? Pitt. That's a really tough question. For the females, if you're going off looks and looks alone, <laughs> maybe like Amargo Robbie. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Sophia Vergara, is that her name? Off oh, from Modern Family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. We're going off looks, you said, didn't you? Yeah, I did say that. Um, um, yeah, no, that, mate, that, that, one, that was a good question. That was a great question. On the spot. But I'll, I'll, to be honest, we, we probably need that question when we have like more than eight brain cells between us. Yeah. But are we going to lock someone in? We are locking Ooh. in Adam Adam Sandler. All of us. Yeah. All of us. Adam Sandler. <sighs> us three locked in the elevator with Sandler. Yeah. We do Sandler. Sandler. That's what we come up with. Yeah, Adam. <laughs> Lock it in. Adam. I hope, Thanks, hope you're Adam. ready. We'll get the mics ready and yeah, let's do it. Little <laughs> body. Okay. Next question. At Mason McCarthy is asked. I would first like to say I fucking love cast. Sec wait, there's five exclamations. <laughs> Secondly, I'm curious if Jimmy took a sickie today after his big win. Thanks for your question, Mace. I did not take a sickie today. Did you go to work? I was fresh. I was up early this morning. Got a coffee. Off I went. Took some urine before I went in. And yeah, I was on fire. I was flying. God bless my company. They gave us a working from home day after the Melbourne Cup. Oh, yeah, you need that. God bless. That, that is good. good. God bless. That is good. No. Mate, so you didn't even take a sickie, Jim? You, nah, you no were fully sickie. productive. Straight into work. He wanted to show everyone the bet slip. No, no, I didn't even How tell anyone. How many people did you, well, you, tell did you show anyone the bet slip? No, I didn't tell anyone. Well, at least, at least 18,000 people on TikTok saw it. So. <laughs> yeah, well, there you he's go. He's the most humble. That's all. He's good. the most humble tipster ever. Uh, next question at Best Sport 2.0. Best sports movie of all time. Well, I think we actually, I made a top five, top five about five. it. Yeah. I think we, well, what I said on was a bit controversial. Everyone was slamming me. Uh, number one was. Rocky, or like the whole Rocky series. Rocky, very good. Done. Number three was like Happy Gilmore. Number two was, uh, I think Moneyball was in there. There was a there was a whole list, and people were like, there was a few notable mentions, and people in the comments just blasting us. Oh yeah. Oh, but what? Any any given Sunday. What's your your favorite? I know my number one. I love Happy Gilmore. Everyone loves Happy. Back to Adam Adam Sandler. Sandler. Yeah, (laughs) Adam Sandler. Adam. Or, uh, wonder it, what the title of this podcast will be called. <laughs> <laughs> even even the uh, Moneyball, I love Moneyball, but it's not a movie you can watch bounced out on the couch after a Melbourne Cup. 
Yeah, th- maybe like kicking and screaming. I've watched that movie like <laughs> oh, screaming. Yeah. That's literally classic. 45 plus times. With the Italians? Yeah. yeah. That's the board to the Italians. That's a classic. <laughs> That's a classic. What yeah, I think. You? Jim? Happy Gilmore or Caddyshack. I really love Caddyshack. Caddyshack. Yeah. I've actually never seen it. You need to watch Caddyshack good? all the time. Never That's seen good. it. That's good. All the time. Add that to the list. Mm, Caddyshack. Okay. The best gambling movie is that Let It Ride. You seen that? Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's all time. Let it that's ride. Very just the guy that has a Jimmy of a day. And that's very good. <laughs> very <up>. good film. <laughs> okay, at C Janiatus, I think that's how you, you pronounce butchered it. it. <laughs> Janiatus, that's better. <laughs> no, it's Who's it. the lock of the day at Rose Hill this Saturday? Jim, we're going to be going to you, Jimmy. This is moment of truth. Come on, don't fuck it. I actually don't know which race it is, but. Naval Seal. Oh, race four. Race four. You were harping on about this before. Race four. William Pike on board. Barrier eight. It's just going to fly past. Yeah. Hope it doesn't get too far back. It's first up over the mile. Got run down a bit late. It's not first up. No, second it was up. first oh, up. Yeah. First up run was over the mile. So now yeah. second up, 1800. Walla, Pike, get on. Wins. Close to it. <laughs> That'd be close. <laughs> But I'm actually against you, Jim. I don't know much about that horse, but in a different race, Ellsberg wins. Yeah, Ellsberg's also a very good champion. Ellsberg like is my lock at Rose Hill. Yeah, I like it. It's double them up. It is a freak. Naval Steel and Ellsberg. Double them up, yeah. There you go. There's your double the day at Rose Hill. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so that leads us into tips of the week. I'll start us off, boys. Here you go. So you're thinking age is double your age or triple your age is coming now. You've but lost no. two in a row. That's why I'm going away from this. Away from EPL? Away from betting. Okay. This tip is go to char time. Yep. You've been to char time, right? I've been to char yep. time. Have you guys had the bubbles that pop in your mouth? Nope. Oh, my God. This is a game changer. Is it? So, I went today. I got pop and peach or like peach at pop. It was something to do with peaches poppin'. and popping. <laughs> so, basically, these bubbles were popping. Yeah. yeah. And I was... You know how you usually have bubble tea and you're chewing these little balls mm. and it takes so long to chew. <laughs> yeah. You end up like, it's just like the shit. pearls? Yeah, the pearls. No, they're the best. <laughs> no, these fucking bubbles. Are you okay, Mick? No, nah, you got These me. bubbles <laughs> pop in your mouth as soon as your teeth touch it and it like pops out like a peach flavor, like tastes beautiful. I think I have had them before. Oh, it was so refreshing. Yeah. I could have like four of them. So do yourself a favor, go to char time and get... The popping peach. If you think it's shit. If that's what it's called. I will pay for your popping peach. It was fucking class. <laughs> we're going to get all these DMs. <laughs> <laughs> my Send mic's it. falling down right now, but. It's not coming out of the cast account. It's coming, it's out coming of straight one. out of cast. No, it's yeah. not. Because if you think it's shit, we're going to unfollow but you. But you well. actually have to show us the receipt and your review of you drinking it and tag us on the story and then we'll refund you. But before my mic falls off this little chair thing. Let me just take it out. Mick, be quiet. Ages, double your wage is back. You thought you got away with it. Yeah. I'm on I'm on my last warning before I'm in the sin bin. Yeah. So I'm going very safe. Here we Australia go. minus 27 and a half versus Lebanon. Absolute lock. England minus 15 and a half against PNG. Criminal. That's they're gonna cover that easily. And the last one, New Zealand minus 15 and a half against Fiji. Two dollars ten. Double your wage with age, and that will see me for this week. Boys, what do you got for us? Love it, age. My tip of this week. Because I'm back. I'm back from the sin bin. Hey, lie down for your tip. A genuine star in the making running in Ascot this Saturday. Ascot race five, number five, Bustler. He's a jet. He will. Oh, my God. Bustler's a jet, guys. <laughs> He's going to smack him on Saturday. Get on. I've actually lost it. Bro, I've heard Jimmy say, like, this thing's a jet that many times. <laughs> genuine, genuine star. Oh. I'm feeling it right now. Tell us what's going to happen in the race, Jim. Just take us through it from jump to finish. So I think he's drawn gate five by memory. He's going to jump. <laughs> Probably sit one out, one back. Maybe a touch worse. Peel and go straight past him. <laughs> How many times has he said that? Go straight if you past see him. The turn of you and you on literally this just thing. say the same thing. And then it loses horse. and he goes, oh, I got too far back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, this, this horse is a weapon. But um, yeah, no. Bustler. $2.30. Get Best on. bet, locking it in? Lock it in. Oh. And Mick, what do you got from us? I'll keep it short because I'm slowly dying here behind these shades. I went to... <laughs> <laughs> Mick is so cast right now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, the YouTube's going to get some good clips of me. I'm no, bounced. It's going to just be cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to Moomoo's on Friday at the Ivy Precinct in the city. Unreal. Unreal. Man, my missus <laughs> loved it. <that. laughs> all right, I'll keep it short. <laughs> Basically, I got this one dish. I got multiple, but this one dish got me. The Morden Bay Bugs and you add the bread for $6. Crazy. As Jimmy would say, it's gone. All right. Um, thanks, yeah. Mick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Mick. That was very good. Thanks, Mick. Thanks, Mick. Thanks, very thanks, insightful. Mick. Yeah, it won't yeah. be going to Moomoo's. So <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sell it very well, but... Um, <laughs> you're a terrible salesperson. <laughs> Just um, if you're going to do one thing this weekend, uh, follow us on Double and sign up using the show notes below. Um, and get a char time, pop and peach. Yep. It's cracker. Good luck yeah. to Australia in the Cricket World Cup versus England. No, Afghanistan. And good luck to Australia versus <laughs> Lebanon. Um, good luck to uh, Nature Strip. Nature Strip. We can't curse it twice, yeah. can we? Good luck to us on about even. Yep. Ooh, we'll need that. Uh, good luck to Jimmy's uh, tip, Naval Seal or something. Yep. And Buster. Bustler. Bustler. Yep. And Ellsberg. Good luck to everyone that tries the pop and peach. You won't need it. It's cracker. Yeah. Um, good <laughs> just luck. get it with pills. Good luck to Nathan Those, Cleary. Can I just say, the pills, Evans. when they pop in your mouth, <laughs> They're not You're on a different planet. No. Okay. Yeah. Is Trisome still open now? At I 10 don't know. But you got to get one. If it's open now, I'll go get one. Right, let's go get one. Let's go get one. Okay. All right, we're off to go get Chai Times. Sweet. But, we're um, not sponsored, by the way. No, not sponsored. <laughs> Wish we were sponsored. An not an ad. But um, yeah, I think we've rambled on for long enough, boys. How about we uh, call it there? Perfect. Cue the music. Beautiful. Have a good week, guys. Have Ciao. a good week. See you guys.